Hey babes and welcome to a new video here on my channel. So this video will be kind of like how to pull off bleached brows and also I'm going to recreate my makeup look that I had on yesterday when I turned 25 years old. I have gotten so many compliments about my bleached brows. You guys seem to love it. I know some of you hated it though i've gotten those comments as well but i really feel like it suits me like i know i look kind of dead but with makeup i look bomb <laughs> we are going to start off with the next professional makeup honey do me up by the way i'm so sorry if it's a little bit echoey now i just noticed it but I think it's because yesterday we redid my studio, me and Jonas, and now I don't have any furniture in here. I only have my setup. Primer is on. And then for foundation, this is such a hidden pearl. I love this foundation so much. I had it in my best makeup of 2019. This is so good. It is from Moolock and it is called the Slay All Day. Nope, it's not. Slay the Game full coverage foundation, and I have it in the shade 02, which is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely perfect for me. It gives the most amazing, flawless finish. It's not matte, it's not like super dewy, it's just there in the middle, and it's just so nice. I'm just gonna blend it out with my Neve Cosmetics brush. I think it's the flat foundation brush. And then, as always, the shape tape in fair, blending it out with a beauty blender. I'm also gonna use the excess on the middle of my forehead and my nose, just because my nose always gets so red. And then, quickly, for some powder, I'm going to set underneath my eyes, my lid, and also my chin, and that is it. I hope that you guys can see, but this powder just makes it so flawless underneath my eyes. And this foundation and this concealer and just everything about my base, it's just like, I look porcelain-like. For bronzer, I'm of course gonna use the matte bronzer in Baked from Milk Makeup. It is so good. It blends out like a dream. Whoops, might have used a little bit too much. I really like to be quite tanned or like bronzed when I have bleached brows because I then think it really stands out a lot more when I get some color because if not, my skin color is pretty much the exact same color as the bleached brows. Underneath my bottom lip and then we're gonna use some on my nose. And then we are gonna go in with the Linda Haberg Infinity Palette. And as you guys can see, this is well loved. I have not used it for quite a while. And now I've fallen in love with it again. I'm gonna go in with Cigar. And I'm just going to use this as a contour. And then for the uh, best contour shade for the nose, this is called Mafé. And it's like a contour shade, but it's quite light. Um, obviously, it's good for a uh, contour shade for a pale girl <laughs> or a light, light skin person. I'm just gonna start by contouring the nose. I'm gonna make it quite snatched. One side down and then the other. There we go. It might look like a lot, but it won't suit. <laughs> or honestly, it might look a lot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But I'm gonna go in with the Lime Crime Software Blush in Wi-Fi. I love this one. Warm up the face even more with some blush. I love this one. It is like the most amazing curly orangey blush. And I blend them quite far up, as you guys can see. It looks a little bit more cute when you do that, I think. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit on my nose. You guys know what it's time for. 
I'm gonna use some setting spray, this stippling brush from Real Techniques, and some of the Total Control Drop Foundation in number 15 Caramel. And we're just gonna hit the brush. And then I am going to stipple this a little bit around my brows and also underneath to really like mark <laughs> where the brow is because you cannot really see it that well. Okay, I'm gonna stop now before I do too much. I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just make them a little bit less visible. Tivo is really mommy right now. He really wants to be sitting in my lap, <laughs> which is so nice. I love that about you, babe. You are so cute. My dream used to be that I would have a dog that would like to sit in my lap all the time. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now he's out in the living room with Jonas. He absolutely hates <laughs> when me and Jonas is not in the same room. He walks like where I am to where Jonas is and like tries to put us together pretty much. When I'm in here filming, he thinks it is very annoying, which is really cute actually. <laughs> he's such a good boy. I love him so much. Now I'm just gonna go in a little bit with some powder on the nails. And while I have this powder on, I'm gonna go in with a new favorite product of mine. This is completely new. It is from Linda Halberg and it is the Infinity Highlighter. It is so, so pretty. It is a little bit darker than the Ozone from Nabla, but it really works amazingly on my skin it's more like a gold tone i mean wow and then for the nose i'm gonna go on the bridge the sides and the tip let's just remove this powder bear with me from an professional makeup if you think you're done add more it will just oops make everything <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Interstellar. I think it's just called Interstellar from Linda Halberg. I'm using quite a lot of Linda Halberg in this video because I am doing so in real life as well. It is such a great brand. I know Linda personally and uh, everything is vegan, cruelty free. I mean, if you haven't tried it, check it out. You guys probably know who Linda is. This product is made for like cheek, lips, eyes, wherever. But I'm just gonna paint it on in the middle of my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with a eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to blend it out. And then for another Linda Halberg product, this is the Metallic Mysteries. I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go in with Collision and Bang. And I'm just gonna mix these and then I'm gonna put it over the interstellar. Also, this is like one of my go-to looks when I just wanna look really nice, but I don't want it to take forever to like blend eyeshadows and stuff like that. I really wanted to use the Ultimate Palette from NYX Professional Makeup in Phoenix because it was a very long time ago since I used this. So I'm gonna go in with this shade because I think it will be perfect for that. And I'm just going to use it in the outer corner and in my crease. And also I will just blend it into my contour shade that I have. And then lightly in the outer corner underneath here. Then again, Linda Halberg's white core pencil in my waterline. And then of course I'm gonna use a winged liner because it's my, my thing. Did I just say that winged liner was my thing? <laughs> it's everybody's thing, but yeah, this kind of winged liner, I feel is kind of my thing. I'm gonna go in with the Epic Ink Liner from NYX Professional Makeup. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and then we're gonna apply some lashes. And these lashes are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They are so, so pretty. And they are called So Hollywood. 
And now for the brows. You guys can see that they are barely visible <laughs> as my skin is like the exact same color. Therefore, I like to go in with the Kathleen D 24 hour super brow pomade in bleach and white out. I go in with any like spoolie. Oh, it has hair on it. Probably dog hair. I actually don't really care. <laughs> and I'm just taking this bully, go in with the bleach and then the white out. And then I just coat my brows so they stand up and also they just become a little bit wider than my skin. Looks so nice, right? Hope you guys agree. <laughs> and then for the other brow. And now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills new mascara called Lash Brag. For lips, yesterday when uh, it was my birthday, have I said that? I actually had this lipstick on. It is from Hourglass. I love the packaging. It is so, so nice. It is called, I think it is called I'm Looking because it's this is right here but i absolutely love how tiny this is and it's such a nice nude shade although today i feel like i want a little bit more vampy look so i'm gonna go in with the uh, unicorn blood and are you filming from your free star cosmetics <laughs> Alrighty, the look is done. I actually had this exact same dress on yesterday, but in a red. I love it so much. I now have four different shades of the same dress. I know. I actually have when I tried on the copper one in my ASOS haul, my latest ASOS haul. So if you want to check it out, Check it out. <laughs> All right, so that is it. I won't babble anymore. I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I hope that we will see each other in the next video. So be sure to subscribe. <laughs> okay, bye guys.